proven, they're proven na lang that they tested it, ah. That it does actually cleanse your, your house. And Ricky has some for sale, so. <laughs> so everybody is done. Kema, Mods? So it's done? So, first thing I want to teach you guys is um, um, rat root, wigis. Gito mo sa akin naman mga tips ko, ha? Pamu is kapitok tiyan. So, I just want to show you the plant. Tansena and Tasnagwa. So, you know by this seeds, Uta. She had planted all of these in a shore with these seeds. I dried the seeds and I soaked them, Gaspia. So you can take them off. And there was nothing growing there before. Then I, I, I soaked them. I just take them out. They're not dry right now, but it, you take them apart. And it, all the seeds come apart. Huh? Then when you, uh, you can come in. I'll wear my cowboy hat here, Samananta. It'll get too bright for you guys watching. My... Okay, um, that's how I planted my rat root in, uh, in front of my house in Door Lake. So I just planted three, three four spots, so it's starting to grow all over. It's a lot of You can take a piece of our roots too and plant it. Yeah. How long does it take to get it till you pluck it out? Uma? Oh, the, the rat root itself, usually I harvest around the end of August and when it's potent. And, uh, you can harvest it a little bit if you want, just for yourself, earlier. But uh, it's better to pick it on the end of uh, August and September, where it's, or the rats will dig it for you. The rats will put some on top if you want some. That's what they go for. That's what they go for. Same thing with lily pad root. The beaver will pick for you. You trade him, huh? I usually trade him with poplar trees on his beaver house because he has them on his beaver house. And they're bigger. So, I don't know what to do. I don't You guys understand Korean, no, eh? Okay, well, I'll speak to uh, English. I don't know go. Well, it it takes one seed to grow something, huh? Like one ah. But you put lots, then make sure that your it's planted right in a shore. It's That's what I did. I go walking in a shore like the hip waders, and I just down. You know, see, they're soaked, eh, so they sink. If it's if it's uh if you don't do that, they stay on top, huh? Then they just float out, eh? Okay. Yeah, because they stay heavy. It's like wild rice, same thing. You soak it first and you seed it, huh? You're going to see it's the same thing, Oma. So yesterday, I was teaching that one woman how to recognize the rat root. That's, she said, you can tell right away, once it presents itself to you, you'll notice rat root all over. And it, and it has a good color to it, light green color. Right now, it's starting to turn black already because it's fall time, huh? So I, I just pick so it what up. What happens when they turn black? Monto, the, the seed is still, the root is still good, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a plant. It's because it's hot, huh? Or frozen. Starting to freeze like anything else for the winter. So the way I clean the, the rat root, everybody has their own ways, I guess. I just use a knife all the time. When I'm cleaning in a shore, see, I clean it there right away. Eh? But this is for show, so I can show you guys how to clean it for yourselves. You can, you can actually get a piece of rat root right here if you guys want to start cleaning your own rat root. But if you want to watch me first, you can... You trust me with a knife? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. See, this is this stuff is good for your your stomach, fevers, your your toothache. There's lots of different things that you use it for, huh? Eh? 
You got a book on this too, Wiggies? I seen her book there. She wrote all the stuff from medicine, which is a good idea. I just teach it like this. I don't know how to write, huh? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dirtier tables, but I'll clean it after I'm done. You have to let it dry? You let it dry, Gaspi. I, I, I usually sew it. I clean it a little better. I just scrape it. You got to watch when you're eating this to work. Not to spit it out all over the place, you gotta really watch with rat root. So you just keep it in your mouth. If you have to spit it out, do it in a fire or in a sink, huh? Don't just spit it out all over. Bad. Sometimes go bad. It's what? Can go bad. Well, you can harm somebody else with it. Oh. Which, which I don't do that stuff, so. Once you go that way, you got to go only one way. See this one? Then you sew it and you just hang it in your house. What do you mean sew it? Well, it's a gui, it's a thread. <laughs> For what? To hang it, to let it dry. Well, can't you just leave it on a table? Well, it's, it won't dry like this on a table, guys, huh? I'm saying now, watch it. Over your fire? Or, because the heat stays higher, so when you're hanging it, the heat don't, it's too low, but you're still cold all the time, huh? Uh -huh. If you want to wait for a long time, yeah. We, we can tie it. Yeah. Tie it up. We can tie it up. You don't have to go squat, so you can tie it up too. Well, that if that's what you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions about the wiggies? You'll know how to clean it. Whatever you clean, you can take home. You just trade me with something, tobacco, or before you take it home, huh? You gotta always trade with Indian medicine, huh? Trade person. We will give you something, you trade me with something. Tobacco, anything you have in your pocket, it doesn't have to be tobacco. Like a cigarette? Ah, cigarette, same thing, it's tobacco. I just, hey Lons, <laughs> you better show them the picture. <laughs> okay, what did you, what were you, what was your question? Because I was just talking. I, I go to the bush and let it go out, Auntie. Mother Earth, I say thank you, Mother Earth, for your medicine. I always praise Mother Earth, eh? Because they're, Right now, all the medicines are being cut by the loggers and they're starting to disintegrate. So it's getting harder and harder to find stuff. Uh -huh. You got to go further and further. So uh, I don't know if, we, if anybody can stop them, but we try all the time. But one person can't do it by himself. We have to all get together and say, no more. Quit cutting right beside our lakes. Okay, another thing now is, uh, you want to clean some? You can sit right there. Another thing too is uh, rose hips. There's lots of vitamins. Yeah, I, I broke a few branches just to let you guys, just to see. Just to see how they look. So you pick them like berries. Same thing, you just go out and, and just throw it. Rose hips. There are lots of vitamin C in it when you have a cold or something. And you're sniffling and you're. I put some in that Even same thing, yeah. You, if you have sore lungs, you know, it's good for it. Yeah, you're cold because it's lung, lung cold guy. And, it, and it's, so, it's so easy, yeah. Oginiak. Oginiak si kasuaga. Nihiawe. So all you do is just boil it, just a little while. You don't boil them that long. You boil them a little way, then you let it sit. Then you mash them inside your teapot. Then you just let it simmer. Said so you drink, you drink it. Just keep adding water. Every time you drink, you take a cup, add a cup. Skokan ante or till they're. The only thing you use those for is tea. Tea. Yeah. 
ki ya and you can mix it with um tantita gasan uhu tai raspberry leaves raspberry leaves as semana ni i mix them ah same thing with that helps you for your cold that's my cold medicine i don't run to the pharmacy and i to go and get a cold medicine i run to the bush i i put these away in the winter time i just yeah, hang them I just hang yeah, I just hang him. I have a cold storage. I I just hang him there. But can a person freeze them or they Well, they could be they could be frozen, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cuz everything, but I don't freeze. Just let them dry. I dry like that and make a fresh cup of tea in the morning. Well, just, a long time ago, people made ketchup with the with the skin part. Oh, okay, yeah. They made jelly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rosehip jelly, Jonah no good stuff on And the flower you can make uh, rose rose uh, ice cream. Rose rose ice cream. Rose ice cream? Mm -hmm. yeah. when I'm in the spring and when the roses are I just go eat the petals, huh? Yes. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's what I do all the time when I just go around mm -hmm. teach, you know, this take my kid grandkids around and show them because I see, I show them lots of this stuff. Just to try and keep it with our meaty people in Bovalga. Because nobody's, nobody's practicing it now anymore. Eh? The elders die off with their recipes. They don't pass it on to anybody. See, my Kukum Sagimi, that's her name. That's who passed it on to me. And I thought I wasn't listening in a bush. She was telling me, oh, you want to say, oh, say. When I got older, all of a sudden, it just hit me. Eh? I knew all of them. I just wanted to. So how long ago did you start doing this? Like, well, 20 years now, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's when it started hitting me. I said, it came all back, eh? Just to look. Before, when I walk in a bush, everything was weeds. You walk in a bush now, you see all this medicine all over. Mm -hmm. It's just different. When you, once it presents itself to you, huh? it, it, it opens your eyes. So... You gotta listen, ask me if you're listening to this, you, you'll walk in a bush, oh yeah, this is what I learned. Start picking, you know, just pick for your kids, you know, you just transfer from yourself to your kids so they'll learn. Moisapita, who's gonna show them, huh? After we're, we're all gone. So you guys gotta start teaching. That's why I like go to the school once in a while and go teach the kids. Just like they don't listen, but I think some of them will listen, eh? That's what I did when I went with my kokum. Na bush, I thought I wasn't listening, playing around, picking berries with her and stuff. Snaham with us, So this stuff he showed me all her. And you have the raspberry. Yeah. Berries. Raspberries, yeah. But I don't. I just picked a plant and then yeah, jam on and did one those stand. <laughs> what about anxiety? What, do you have anything for anxiety? Anxiety. I don't know. I never practiced for that. In Anxiety, you use obstabrilis with valerian. Yeah. Valerian? See, that valerian never presented itself to me. That, that's true. That valerian yeah. will, will actually move people that are not ready, will never find it. Yeah. Yeah. When's the best time to look for that? The best time probably is after it flowers, you know, because if you pick it when it flowers, then you're taking the seed or destroying a seed, and they they grow by root or by seed, and if the seed is gone, then all of a sudden you have nothing left. Yeah. Yeah. Well, one of these days. The whole root is that, like, yeah, the, the root is good, but what they do in modern day stuff is they get rid of all those little hairs and that. Uh, what is it? 
Oh yeah, because you can smell it out, you can tell right away. I know how it smells, but it never presents itself to me too. But you can buy it at that Neepsi's place there, eh? They always have it. I, I just pick my own or if yeah. there's not much, I buy But do you know what she's talking about? Like yeah, I know what Valerian is, yeah. People used to use it for, they used to tie it on there eh, for good luck for fishing on their nets. You can use it for stuff like that, you know. I had read about it lots, but it didn't present itself to me. I know there's some in Dory area there, but I... Dory's land. Yeah. So what color is that flower? I think it's white, white flower. So how come you never picked it then? Like, doesn't, you can't find it? See, I can't find it. Well, it didn't, it, it, see, medicine, it medicine presents, it. presents itself to you, huh? It doesn't just go in a bush and appear. Some of it, huh? You said there's some in Dory, you know there, there's some. My it didn't present itself to me yet, the medicine. Yeah. It's different. <laughs> you don't really understand it. it does, the medicine does present itself to, to you. Yeah, that's what we mean, presents itself to, just like Chaga, same thing, huh? When you see Chaga, before, uh, when you walk in a bush, there's nothing, you don't see nothing. But once it presents itself to you, then you see it all the time when you're walking in a bush, huh? Oh yeah, there's Chaga. Yeah. Yeah. Because the guy wrote a book on the cancer ward. Alexander Solzhenitsyn wrote a book. And he wrote about Chaga. But that was not our name for it. It was Posadan or Wisati Sakomegi. But somehow or another, you're to colonize it. Can we like colonizing ourselves too? So we call it the Russian name. We call it Chaga. Mm -hmm. Do you know we saw kids get most neat in a tree? Bring me some and water. As he came, as he came back, Bring me some water. He found this, he found this rock. Good job. The rock had a, a piece of dry meat on it. And he said, Oh, he said, We don't mind. Oh, yeah, no man. No, they said, Yeah. So he took that dry meat and he was just going to eat it. And a little bird sitting on a birch tree. It used to just be white. Thank you.
<laughs> good story. <laughs> I'll remember it. I heard it. I heard it once already. Yeah. Okay. This um, what we picked this morning was the blueberry stems, and I keep the berries on there. That's how I make the tea. This thing is really good for your kidneys. Kawisagi on your insides, huh? Cancers. So you, you boil it. I usually just boil it a little bit. I never boil, you know, when I make tea and I don't over boil stuff. Because when you boil something, so you just boil it just for, just when it's, then you simmer it. Then, um, when you're um, I boil water on the side and I keep filling it. Every time I take a cup, that's how I measure it. I put a cup back. Then I, I take it and put it in the fire. Then I start making another one, different kind of tea. Eh? All different. I make that cup in potiga sihatik. My kokum's recipe puts star and she puts 17 different herbs in it. So that's what I always follow on it. So And I do my measurements on all of them the way she she taught me. So I have that at uh, Door Lake. Maybe we put on this morning because we were all in a rush last like, yes, day or day and we my son killed a couple of moose and we were doing all the moose meat and so and uh, I, I brought some uh, bones there I was going to cook, but no, there was nobody here this morning, so I had some moose meat. May roast, huh? And blueberries, your kidneys, your stomach, and um, your bladder. Diabetes. Huh? Diabetes. There's lots of stuff with diabetes, even... Um, Labrador tea is good for diabetes. Huh? It helps your diabetes. It doesn't cure it, but it helps as you're getting away from it. And they, what, what a person said to it for diabetes is that spruce gum. It, that one woman I was talking to in a reserve, there, an elder, she said she got cured with spruce gum. All they did was boil the spruce gum in a pot. And she does, and she said she uses the same pot all the time where she boils. Cause that what the moment you know that spruce gum all around the, the pot, so you just keep drinking it. Now she doesn't take nothing. Imagine that, eh? It's such a beautiful thing that you just go in a bush and cure yourself. These ones will help you with your stuff on huh? diabetes. It'll lower your sugar and stuff like that. So that's what I give my dad. I always practice on my daddy when I when I pick medicine. So I just you must know my daddy, Peter. Yeah, I I practice on him because he's a diabetic. Even a lily pad root on a pitan, I usually crush that up and I put it on bare fat. Tanto he can heal, so it, that stuff heals him, huh? So you watch, you watch the animals when you're out in a bush. A beaver will show you how to use, you know what they use, the medicine, what they use. You chip take one, he dives. Bears when they use, and um, let's say, plantain. Yeah, plantain is right here. At Indian band, they don't use it for just, when you cut yourself, you know, you just activate it, huh? So you just take a plant and you, you can either chew it or just activate it. You gotta activate this plant, huh? Then it tantaga we sagi tamini just wrap it. Usually when you chew it it's all cause it's your own skin. See it activates, it's, it it brings out the stuff that cures you for your cut. So I just put a tie on there. There's, there's lots around all over. And also, if you grind it up and, and eat it, 
It's good for stomach ulcers. Oh, okay. What's that? Plantain. It grows anywhere. You can see it anywhere. It's just like this. See these two little... These things are... You can yeah. see right away all, all over the place. When we go south, everybody's spraying them. <laughs> with, I don't know what they spray with. If you guys want to clean some rat root here, you can come sit closer. Aida, you want to clean some rat root? I'll give you some. Just help yourself on this thing here. There's lots. See, they're all... Uh, that's how I picked them. They're all rooty. I want you guys to learn how to clean your own. Jason, dun dun dun, yeah. <laughs> right for it. Put it all in the middle. Oh, I didn't talk about Labrador tea. Everybody's scattering. We want to take a five minute break? Five minute break. <laughs> so. Where were we, John? You were going to make some tea. We're going to start with the tea. We're going to put some uh, uginiak. I see uginiak. Don't think I have a right here. You, you put some blueberry stems in, huh? And uh, there's some blueberries here that are... So I put them in there. Just let it boil for a while. Let it simmer. Then it'll... Well, how long do you boil it and, you just enough to uh, you see it starting to boil like said then you just let it shut it off and let it simmer let it let it absorb usually i leave it overnight on and then it absorbs everything see when i came here last time i i made the tea uh, one then i just cover it up in the morning i just heat it up and everything i see it absorbs uh, from the the roots everything from the plant then you can taste them huh, when you're, then it, they really good. Mungas ko, you cook them right now and it doesn't, didn't absorb the stuff yet. Huh? You gotta, same thing up in potigi and when you're doing it, you put it in hot, I just put each a teaspoon each in a coffee pot and I put hot water in there. And I let it sit, you know, it sits there for days and then I drink it and I put more hot water in it. They walk every day. You just keep adding till you, you don't like it anymore, till it's weak. Mm -hmm. Then you add some more. You know, you don't have to throw the old stuff away. Just keep adding and start over and then it absorbs everything up to, huh? It's working, your tea is always working. Even the mint. See, we went to pick the mint yesterday. Me and Jones stopped by at Bopri Creek. There is, usually there's lots on the shore. So we just, some people use it alone because it's just a tea itself, huh? Yeah. It's really good for, you know, the insides of your, your lungs. Your, it's good for your kidneys. You know, all these medicines is, is really good for that, in eh? Kidneys, your bladder. See, what I use in... Uh, uh, Bearberries on a sihat. I should have picked some up this morning. We went to that road there. Right? We went. What are they called? They're bearberries. They're red little berries and they're white inside when you press them. So I, I usually take the root and just tie it up on my palm on it, but stand and stuff. Bigum na ha. You want it? good for bladder infection, guy. In our, No. You you call them gooseberries. Last time, remember and I. So I can put those with blueberry Yeah, you put them you put them together. Yeah. So you bunch them all up. We didn't pick them this morning. So what do we pick? There's more Labrador Labrador team in, huh? it, it, It's good, but you can only drink so much of this stuff, huh? and then maybe a cup in the morning, cup in the evening. Well, you can overdose yourself with it. So it, it's usually good for your lungs and it, it, it clears your lungs. All this stuff. Your stomach. I've been really likes that for asthma. Yeah. It helps him. 
Diabetes. It helps with your diabetes, huh? This too. Mint. Yeah, put some mint in there too. See this mint of my say it's starting to turn I say usually I pick it earlier, huh? It's just for show that I come pick some for us. Because you were you were asking for some, eh? Yeah. So you can trade me with this here if you need them after. You can take all this stuff, huh? Yeah. But that's how I remembered when I stopped by there to pick it all up. So you guys know how to do any questions with the rat root? Hold. All the roots, yeah, throw them all back in there. We'll uh, go plant them at the ranch in the, in the creek. Then you don't have far to go pick for next year. Next year's crop or the year after. <laughs> Matt, I, you don't have to go to La Plonge to go pick all the rat root. Usually when I pick rat root, I just clean it all there on. Huh? So I leave all this stuff, everything for... See, I, it just presents presented back to mother mother earth all this stuff i just drop it there and just take the root itself and you always trade mother earth with tobacco huh, when you're picking mm -hmm. if you don't have to do it there if you don't have tobacco they do it after here you go you just say thank you you know and you know just thank mother earth all the time because it provides you with all this stuff and people should really care about and you know, a lot of people don't care about Mother Earth right now because all the logging that's going on and they don't do selective logging anymore like they used to. Now they just cut everything. They can the moose won't even walk through there. That, that's why they all go south. You know, they, they, they cut all their game trails. The moose will have a 10 mile game trail like this. Now they... They got rid of his game trail. Scott got straight to Mohti, and they're wondering why all the moose are going south. I told them that's why it is going south because they roamed their game trail. All the moose have their own circles, huh? Even the bear, same thing. You know that one guy in Door Lake at one time it's Mustagwa. He had a a house built right on the animal game trail. Every spring a bear takap mohti, he rips that corner of that house. That's how protective of their game trails they are. Huh? He'll rip that house in the corner every time it comes around every year. Please, that, that guy realized, I said, oh, that must be from the game. He moved it a little bit. He said, the bear never touches cabin. He just walks by. That's how protective they are to their game trails. So. But they know, huh? <laughs> they, yeah, every, every animal has their own game trail. Huh? They have circles that they go around. Even a deer, when they're rotten, they'll have their own area. Huh? They'll rot whatever he has in there. Not like uh, us, you know, what we do, we don't... We're losing our bush style, you know. Nobody ever goes to the bush anymore. Before, when we were young, we used to run in the bush. We don't even get lost. Not like now, you go in a bush 100 yards, who let Auntie Maya on? <laughs> See what Sydney, huh? We Casco were shy, shying away from our forest. You know, we're not, we're not uh, playing in a forest anymore. People don't let their kids go in a forest. Oh, mashkwaga muweo. See, I'm having no time to go. Nani, nara, mashkwaga. I get mischati, huh? But we used to play across the street here, all over the place. Most of one Sydney, none, because you knew the forest. You know the markings. Kaki, we get sichiga, tiga. Ah, they're not all over the place. There's one here, maybe one over there. But people have to start going back to the Mother Earth uh, forest. You know, and we're not visiting enough now. People used to walk the door lake like nothing from here. Pine house. The cross of Tilly Roy and I give Mukti ton of much cake. I know she got sick of two Tamasi, Mago Kiwi, I can meet you know. You know, we're, not, we're, not, we're disconnecting from Gasco Mother Earth, huh, from what, we're, what they, our elders used to do before. Huh? 
they used to connect with mother earth they know where to pick ganta ka meat soya han han ah and those go on can they take it down okay let the door tigo when you got time out you know i said let the door tin nick same thing and this taxi say say ta na ka pin putti ga na i just use the the leaf part ah ka pin putti muta ga ki ki chukta mana then i dry it then i have a herbal grinder gana mane pacha ga na they go Ah huh? you keep it as long as you keep it in a dark ah pigon chaga you keep everything in a dark because if you keep everything in a light i usually tape a jar and agak no hita man to keep it yeah yeah same thing that the sun will the destroy a lot of it ah too dry magad ki we na shade ga sta ina over the cupboard i cuz you close the cupboard up to it's dark in there eh? yeah that's how you keep that's how i keep my chaga too but i only pick it in the winter time in a chaga eh? cuz it it's more potent in the winter time ita ka ya ga na summer na kamu sagne it's punky it's pitosi spaiga cuz ko it's a it punks up so that no winter time with that it cuz it You can plant that chaga if you want to. I mean, I got to ask the hot meat, Tosa. You can just shove that chaga, and it'll start growing. And that's how they do it on Munias Saka. They crack the tree and they put stuff in there, and it goes up again. So we saki chak. Did you bring any? We saki chak. I got to pin, huh? Did you bring any? No, I didn't. Add. It's all crushed, and I didn't. I didn't have a full one. I don't pick it in the summer time. Mm -hmm. I pick it in the winter time. Okay. Yeah. Monto tamen. I have to bring you back when it's winter. Yeah. That's not your yeah. summer. Na summer it goes punky and it make it make it stay stigas ko. Ano spo gay to an? Do you pick your chaga in the summer gya? Yeah. yeah. Sini an? Na na winter puni mo sa akin naman na. That's how I learned it. Is pick it in the winter. That's when it's quite a saga. Mo quite a lot of stuff in it, cause that's where it grows. Kataka. The more cold it is, the chaga grows better, right? Huh? Yeah. Oh, in the summer time, I'm asking them in. You take it out and you freeze it. Everybody has got his own beliefs in medicine too, ah. Eh? So. I just do like keep it in the uh, deep freeze so that it's out of my way till I rest. <laughs> <laughs> and and when you pick like when you pick any kind of medicine, just yeah. pick what you need. Mataga kio um sena bush kapis muhti, na. That's not the way. That's not the way of picking stuff. You got to pick just what you need. Guys, go to my that's all you need just for day tea go sign cuz there's lots there. <clears throat> just make a tea. Pick a little bit of these. Okay, okay, go ahead. It's provided there to you. It's not like it's going to disappear. You have to take the whole thing, huh? Come take it to my house and here. Na stamwen. Up siska gi na stand dry. It's good to dry stuff a little bit, you know, have a cold storage. Put everything upside down. Okay, go and upside down the gutana, so everything absorbs back to the leaves. Any kind of medicine, na ka gutana, even wa puso chipi ko mana, kamo sa akin naman. I just hang them in a bag and ang siya na cold storage. You keep them all in the winter time. Eh, tiyan na sinis sa kan adapto niyo so hang it outside their house, eh, all around their house. It just keeps. If we take when got taka yag in the winter time, you know. Did you say wapu so cheapy? Wapu so cheapy, yeah. So cheap. Zasprella, yeah. Well, zasprella. That's used for cancer too. Yeah. But one thing that people that work with medicine were careful about giving that stuff away. About ten, maybe. 
Japanese lady came into this area and met with somebody in the area and she was told that medicine was good for cancer. And because the guy couldn't write or anything like that, at least not good enough, he felt, this person went back to the university and said she came to this area, Bougal Island area, maybe Green Lake, and picked this medicine that was good for cancer. And she got credited for it, but it had been given to her by a native person. So you have to always be careful not to give it away because even aspirins, they come from the willow, willow bark. And long ago, people used willow bark, you know, for tobacco and for headaches and for high blood pressure, everything like that and for pain. But now, if you want to get the extract from the willow bark, the doctors give you aspirin. And we've never gotten a livelihood out of that, but we've given it away. You give all your medicines away. Yeah, sometimes you have to be careful, you know, because it was given to people like that and yourselves. He's giving it to you guys. You got to be careful not to go sell that because that's our livelihood. That's when everything crashes, we'll know how to live off the land. That the population don't know. Mm -hmm. They just laugh at us when, when we say use this. When my <coughs> husband was dying, they gave him two months. He went straight on to our, our own medicine, native medicine. He lived over five years more, you know, just by going that way till the doctor comes, till they gave him steroids. And we have to watch what the doctors give us too, because that's not our medicine, you know. And that's not our medicine, that's not our way. So we have to really be careful in terms of understanding, you know. Is it the same thing as, okay, there's tradition, you know. So we have a, a new king. He's not our king, but he's the king because that's the way it's set up. They have their tradition in England. This is our tradition. The other is not our tradition. This is our tradition. <coughs> you know, so always remember we have our own ways and we were blessed with them. And you're blessed to have him come over and talk to you about that, you know. Because this medicine is given to the people from the spirit world. You know, it's, it's not just, we, we have it, we knew it, but they shamed us into, you know, Maki Wake, speak them up, so I, you know, but we knew a lot. Yeah. So be thankful every day, you know. Be thankful he's here right now. And um, just like what she said, I hope more people are more interested on this stuff, you know, to come out more, come and listen. You know, it's good to come and listen to somebody that's teaching the whole, you know, the whole town and native people. Eh? Then uh, see, everybody is going away from everything. Akio eh? Gaskos is pushing. We said we're rich with medicine around here. there. Like I showed you guys, I take people out in the bush now. Because you can read a book all day long and still don't find the medicine that's where it 
that shows you, but it's good information here. If you carry the book and that same time, I'd show them right there. Oh yeah, magoma. Oh yeah, Where to go and check it out. So always like Ricky just showed me his book up on Tahunahuisa, herbal book. Which is good. She she has her own herbal books. And um new me go in herbal books, she's gonna kutamana po me watch. So just to remind myself, I gotta try and get to one, huh? Then I can show you this and that, that information, huh? So we we'll teach each other. You know, there's a lot of people that want to teach a little bit. They, what they learn from your mom, you should know that what he must have taught you something, you know, just give it back to me, just to show what. I said, you know what I say is maybe different than Sagai Tuito, huh? Mama, you know what I mean? That everybody has a little different of what they're. Not, ex not everybody exactly says everything that. But Kamasnega taking a book, you believe the book and that medicine while you're there, huh? So that's what. Yeah. But that takes a, a long time and it just comes all of a sudden, you know it. Yeah. All of a sudden everything you guys will go in a bush like her now and she comes with me a few times already, eh, Kim? Aida. I try to teach them how to make up in Putigma, they still don't wanna come and learn all the time. <laughs> when I'm picking, they oh yeah, no time right now. <laughs> everybody has no time, I don't know why. Everybody had time, huh? They make time. You gotta make time to go pick. And that's where Indian time got confused. Indian time was something to be proud of because Indian time was it's time to go hunting. The moose are around her, the caribou are coming. That's Indian time. You do it now or you miss the buffalo. Yeah. Yeah. Indian time was do what you have to do when it has to be done. Like if somebody's broke down down the road and it's winter time, don't say I got to get to my meeting. I'm sorry. Indian time was you were put there to help that person. Yeah. And that's number one. See before Nisanan. No, come on, when, when we used to go camping, no, we used to stay, spend lots of time with no, come on, well, huh? like she said, berries come out, so la tanta spin. Tiki doga pisia, you know, school the berries were down, musakina ma berries, and anything, we sakim, na, blueberries, raspberries, kaki, gay, squap and pitsia, me, gay mom to nita moga, see, no. Like the town is, oh, I'm going to to the town. I'm going to go to the town. Let's put these cameras on. Let's put these cameras on. You know, they didn't have that kind of worries. Oh, I'm going to go to the town. 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 So I don't know where they get their information from, but they got lots of information in there. Sometimes if you want to know a free word, hey, nobody knows that free word, I'll ask Google. <laughs> <laughs> I have that Nista, that app on my midship to go on, ma. That's where we're stealing even our language. Yeah. Yeah. When I went to Batars this week, this year, there was one 
Piwi tapung gua ko muniau. He said, "Ah, kiko kiko stay in gay tak. Iku it sama gua tak. What do you do? I'm writing Cree language." He said, "Who left? Pasi man ya, so pay ada muniau. Snah mo ko nihia lagi tu ita." I said, when we went to school, he didn't want us to speak Cree. And he always said, I'm not going to speak Cree. That's so, he said he writes books and stuff like that. I, I just couldn't believe it that he, somebody, he goes to school, he doesn't know how to do it. See, so you don't learn it, because if you go to Cree, you don't learn it in school. You learn one word, you don't know how to do it. I was. Oh yeah, exactly. No, I go away. But they don't make sentences. Ah, what they should promote is their their families. You know, go to their house, and the families will teach their kids. Cause that's how that's where you learn. Ah, it's not my just talk Cree to your kids. You know, munga skuta no munga sista. Munga not one of them will understand Cree. I am hot. This time, I'm bad for that because I didn't teach my kids. Ah, a little bit, but most ah, I don't talk as much Cree like ah. As coach, we shy away from teaching that language to their children. I don't know why that happened. It just it just happened this generation that seems like like the older ones they teach us. You know, that's when we went to school. That's what we talked only. And but we went to school. Don't talk Korean there. As coach, you know, I go stamahi to talk Korea, so we don't teach it to these young kids. They want to learn only English, so I hope it get, gets better. It seems like it's getting better. The Miti people, the, the society, the Miti society, are promoting lots of that language now. So, but what I think is that promote it to the families more, guys, <laughs> because inside the house, ah, even radio station, kind of thing. You know, they they should talk Cree more like Pine House radio station. Bouvel started to now talk Cree a little bit. You know, you, you want to listen to something that people get it in their. If you really want to learn it, you'll learn it, ah. Eh? So I hope they promote it more to our younger kids, because we don't want to lose our language. Go here, it's a nice language and mischief and Cree. So we can stuff the you know mostly Cree and mischief. So. Oui, oui, ça va bien. Tu vas t'agir pour nous? French. Ah, So, any any questions? No. Anything you want to learn? No. <laughs> I'm gonna text you. He likes texting that one. Go get all ways. You have enough. Nobody else wants to do some rat root. So what's all in that tea? Everything. Joan will tell you. Joan is the one that kept. You put blueberry, rose hips, mint. You got the Labrador tea. And rat root. And rat root. He sliced it up. Rat root, huh? 
it absorbs the rat or it absorbs more casco so when you put a big chunk of carrot like this in a pot it doesn't cook as fast or absorbs when you cut it see magana and everything start coming out that's how I make my tea, you know, I just cut it, sl slice it up. There was this uh, native guy who was telling a priest, we do it for Just let it, two let it for a while, then shut it off. In our pocket, close to our oh, heart. I can smell that. some protection mean? medicine, too. Mm. And the priest said, oh, that's all hogwash, you know, that superstition, you don't do that. He said, you know, and he said, uh, you get protection from, you know, the spirits, the creator. He said, but uh, anyway, he said, give me a piece of rattery just in case. <laughs> 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 Li chim li ana ga ge ya ha na an me ga na toilet paper Kleenex ana ni ge ya kis kisi na ana cat logs ana ta ge sti ga vai pe ga no ko mena ranch ho ga ko mutam ho ta ba ki mo cho ga do pe ta an vai ga ga me ga chim na ga la mesha sti ga paper jo ti on this side ga mutam ho na toilet ome do ti an an vai ga ti usi ha trim shigete cigarette Mutamanasasco <laughs> 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 well, if you have any questions about anything here, you know, I didn't bring all the medicine. You know, if we bring too much stuff, people don't pick it up. I was going to learn too much. But if you bring a couple things at a time, you know, you, you work on that on people, then they know, huh? All together. Oh, yeah. Which one did he show us again? But a little bit, and he told me, you know, just keep coming, you know. Everybody, how many times did I come this year already? Four times, four or five times. Sometimes we're all sitting alone with nobody around. Yeah, because I wonder we we had that elders gathering up there. Then it's different. That yeah. people walk by, you tell them this. Uh, see what that move it, huh? Kau tigo. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can't teach it that fast. Eh? You just walk by. <laughs> and I'm boiling tea over here. That that they come back an hour later, come and get some tea. It's bad like it's not bad, but it's a. Uh, it's not as good teaching as here. We're sitting all together and enjoying, enjoying our own company here. So, any, nobody asks questions anymore. That pretty well all I got. So for now, just we're just going to have some tea. And uh, if anybody wants to share stories, you can go ahead. You guys must have some good stories. You can put it. One we picked in the bush, I put it in a bag, but I yeah. close it. No, the, don't put them in plastic either. Yeah? Pull it like the way oh. the oranges, I know that whole thing, and those holy bags. Yeah, That's what I put it in there, yeah. And just let it hang because air flows through all the time, eh? But the leaves will fall off. Well, the leaves will fall off to your bag, huh? You know what I mean? Oranges, I know that time. Do you freeze it? Well, it's I never freeze it, so I don't. I can't tell you that. I never I tried it. You ever freeze? <laughs> you ever freeze these uh, Labrador tea? Yeah, I just dry it. Yeah, it just dries and. Just tie it up and hang it, or you know, or put it in the house. 
Like the way I showed you, remember how to tie him? Take take one plant and just use your palm of your hand and just curl it up. Usually you can use thread or you can use the the medicine itself, the root part. This is how together. Just let it dry and hang him. Or I put him in those bags and then just that breathe through. But you can hang him like this and use it. Yeah. Just put it in your teapot. And if you have nothing, you just have to rotate, turn it inside out. Build a bag. You'll come in my house, Donald. <laughs> 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 